What's good with it, whores? This is your boy jagging off. 904 at Bold City Duval. We in the fucking building. Um, I've been working a lot. I've been working a lot. I've been it's been on the grind a lot. Like, I need to get I need to get some material out there about this uh, Titans game. Um, and hopefully I can even watch the motherfucker because like I don't even know because I'm not even sure if I can get off work, which fucking sucks, but is what it is. Um, let me uh. Let me get into get into it a little bit here. Um, as far as the Titans go, I mean, I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. There's no, there's really no fucking vid makers or anybody on YouTube worth mentioning from that fan base. Which I understand. I know a bunch of people in Nashville probably don't even know how to work a fucking phone. So, um, real. So realistically, as far as this team goes. They, I'm not buying it. I don't buy the shit with them. I really fucking don't. And it's starting to show already with them losing to the Colts. Like, they hype this fucking team up every goddamn year just for them to go 8-8, eight 9-7, and 7-9, eight, and seven, seven and nine, something like that. It's going to happen again this year. Like, they might get lucky and get a play up and make the playoffs and then get eliminated in the first round like they did, like they basically did in 2017. But... Realistic, but realistically, this team ain't fucking doing shit, dude. They, like I said, they hype them up every fucking year, and they suck. They're mediocre at best, and it's the same thing this year. Really, because their formula is simple. The formula is simple to beating Tennessee if you can if you can execute it. Hold Derrick Henry's yardage down, and stop, and um, score twenty or more on their defense. You do that, you beat the Titans. It's that simple. Whether we can do that or not remains to be seen, but that's how you beat this fucking team. Indianapolis proved that. So, um, like I said, you take Derrick Henry out of the game, which is a tough task in itself, because Derrick Henry, like, that is their one piece of offensive talent that, you know, is kind of scary. Because you know Marcus Mariota ain't shit. So, um, and I pray to God... They extend him. Was one he does. one when he's in. Because one he's injured half for the fucking time. And two when he is when he is there, he's worse than Blake Bortles. So, you know, go ahead, extend him. Keep believing this shit with 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 uh, Marcus Mariota. So, um, that's basically all I got. Now, if we're on our shit, we can win this game. If we fuck up and do stupid shit like we did at the end of the Houston game. We might we might lose this game. I'm not gonna lie, we might lose this game. But we'll see what but we'll see what happens. Anyway, let me address the elephant in the room now. That being one Jalen fucking Ramsey. Because this asshole decided he wants to get traded. Yay. Great, a distraction during the year. Why didn't you do this in the beginning of the year, you fucking prick? You know, honestly, I feel you know, honestly, I feel like this. He wants to go. Let him go. Let him go. We don't need this shit. I'm sick. Like, honestly, I'm fucking sick of this guy. The guy's an incredible talent. Probably the best cornerback in the league. Yes. But at the same time, we don't need the distraction of all this bullshit. Like, and, and I knew some shit like this was going to happen. I didn't think it happened. I didn't think it would happen this soon. But I knew some shit was going to happen and we weren't going to be able to keep him. Which is why I said from the beginning... Stop fucking around with Yannick. Stop fucking around with Miles Jack. Pay them and get what you... And, you know, the Ramsey situation will fucking play out. Like it's doing right now. And just hope you can, sal- and just hope you can salvage Yannick Ngagwe. Someone that actually wants to fucking be here. So, it's looking like Jalen Ramsey will be a chief by Friday. Because I think they're offering a first and a third and I think one other player. If that's the case, good riddance to that asshole. I don't like. I, I don't care anymore. And people acting like they can't live without this fucking guy. Like, for those who have been fans of this team since the beginning, like me, this team has lost great players before and came back strong. The Jaguars will have been here before Jalen Ramsey. They'll be here after Jalen Ramsey. So. We don't fucking need them. I'll say it right now. The fucking Jacksonville Jaguars do not need Jalen Ramsey. Period. We don't need them. 
He wants to go. Take the first and third and let him go. And I've been looking at Nick Fargo's um, draft board. Shout out to him, by the way, because he does this shit throughout the year. There is plenty of first-round talent crop coming out for defensive backs. So we need safety help, too. We need a free safety because Jared Wilson ain't cutting it. So, it's... Are we gonna get a, are we gonna get a cornerback as talented as, Ram, as Ramsey? Probably not, but it's fixable. But it's fixable. And and the one good thing and don't get me wrong, I'm not siding with our coaching staff because God knows they need to fucking go too. And the one good thing about if we do keep lo- if we do keep losing, there is one silver lining to that, and that is J- Doug Marone, Todd Wash. Dave Caldwell, they're not surviving this series, this season. They're not going to survive. So, and if it, and if losing keeps happening, like if we fuck this game up and a couple more after that, Doug Marone and Todd Wash ain't going to make it through the fucking year. Sorry to say for anybody that's fans of them, which I at this point I really don't think there are. So, and I'll always be grateful for 2017, but like. This shit ain't work. This shit ain't working no more, bro. This shit is not fucking working. And then when this, and then if this does happen, wholesale wholesale purge time. And I know people don't want to hear rebuild, but but I think in this case it's kind of necessary because let's be real, the whole nostalgia of Saxonville that that shit's dead. That shit's dead, bro. Like granted, I know we still have a lethal pass rush with. Yannick Ngakwe, Je- uh, Josh Allen, and Calais Campbell, but bro, that shit's dead. The nostalgia of Saxonville is fucking dead. And we just gotta accept it. And build a better and stronger era. Because we got pe- we got young pieces around that can be good for I mean, look at fucking DJ Chark right now. I would say, and I said and I said, give this guy a year or two, he's gonna be a fucking beast, and look what's happening. Guys, guys averaging over 100 yards a game and has two touchdowns. You're welcome. So, um, yeah, bro, like, the whole Jalen Ramsey shit, he can go. Let him go. Pay Yon, pay, pay Miles Jack, well, we already paid Miles Jack, but, you know, Leonard Fournette's not going to cost that much. Resign DJ Chark. And honestly, if Garner Minshew keeps playing the way he is, I might have to think about just keeping him around and um, taking a flyer on maybe trading Nick Foles and and losing some cap. And granted, this is nothing against Nick Foles because I like Nick Foles. But Jacksonville has been starving for a personality like Garner Minshew at quarterback for a long time. And if he keeps playing really good, I mean, and it's a younger guy, and it didn't cost shit but a sixth-round pick, I, I think if you're going to enter a purge and a rebuild, you got to ride with that. Like, it wouldn't surprise me at all if um, Nick Foles doesn't play the rest of the year. Not because he can't, but because they want to see what Minshew has. And that's really, and, you know, Chark and Minshew, that's the two biggest positives right now going on in Jacksonville. So, it's a bis. So, unfortunately for Nick Foles, you know it's a business. But some, but he'll get work somewhere else. I don't have any doubt about that. But um, oh yeah. And speaking of Leonard Fournette, I gotta get this shit off of my chest too. The hate that this guy gets is fucking ridiculous. It is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like, it's not his fault that we passed on. Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes to draft him like that's really if like because this team was so high up on keeping Blake Bortles around so if you weren't going to take one of those two Leonard Fournette was the best choice period like 2000 like I've said this before 2017 does not happen without Leonard Fournette there's no other fucking player besides Mahomes or Watson that would have made a difference like that. Jamal Adams wouldn't. Jonathan Allen wouldn't have. Solomon Thomas wouldn't have. The only pl- the only player that do- that does that for us in the first round is Leonard Fournette or one of the quarterbacks. 
Sorry. And the guy's still a good running back, but they're beat. But honestly, they're beating him into the fucking ground. This is why I wanted Devin Singletary so bad. Look what he's doing in Buffalo with Frank Gore. They're a terrific one-two punch because Leonard Fournette can't carry the offense himself. It just doesn't work that way. Nowadays, you need at least two running backs. And Buffalo's proven it right now. Look how much better it's made Josh Allen because he has a run, because he has a real legit running game. So, and and you know, Raquel Armstead's talented. Let him get some fucking touches. Give Fournette a break. You know what I'm saying? Give him a break. And I don't care what anybody says. He got over on that two point conversion. And was it his fault that that play call was that shitty? When the run up the middle on the Texans was not there the whole game? Was that his fault? Like, y'all motherfuckers gotta appreciate what you have. I mean, and at least the guy wants to be here. Unlike a motherfucker y'all are crying about out because he want because he wants to get the fuck out because he's a selfish prick. Y'all will want y'all kick a guy like Leonard Fournette out, but you'll but you'll suck Jalen Ramsey's dick all fucking day. I mean, it's whatever, bro. But like I said, but like I said, as far as this game goes. It could go either way. I do want to beat this fucking team because they've beat us four years in a row and give the little trolls on YouTube something to cry about because that's really all that's on there as far as Titans fans are concerned. But, um, hey, man. See what happens. It's going to be an interesting week for sure. And it's looking like Jalen Ramsey is probably going to be a chief by Friday. As I think they're offering, because like I said, I think they're offering a first and third round pick. And Chiefs fans... Y'all might get a Super Bowl out of this because of how loaded your roster is. He might be quiet for the first two years. But I tell you right now, once you pay him, once you give him the fucking mega deal he wants, the guy's going to turn your fucking organization upside down. You'll have drama coming out every week. The only bigger cancer in the NFL right now is Antonio Brown. So, you've been warned. All right. That's all I got. Just off. I'm out. Go Jags. Duval till I fucking die.